Curious Selection is three true nerd ship order series by Nerd Time Spooks. Like, the link to the video we be the description below. Go and check them out. So, let's introduce this selection in three, two, one. Last year, I worked at a gas station for a few months. I worked inside the convenience store as a cashier and worked yeah. the night shift just about every weekday for the few months I was there. Yeah. I knew the job was going to be temporary for me, and I didn't have much interest in working there too long. However, I figured it would be pretty easy working overnight hours. It wasn't that busy or populated of an area, so there was never many people coming in for gas or anything. The station was sort of off a highway, but not really in a town. It was kind of in the middle of nowhere. I lived almost 15 minutes away myself. This I guess I see in the middle of nowhere. What the? Why is the gas station in the middle of nowhere? There is a real place for a gas station. Story takes place on one of my last nights working there actually. I had already been there a couple of months and was familiar with the job. I mainly worked 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. and it would never really be that busy during my hours, but most of the people would come in early in my shift and then at the end. The middle hours would be pretty dead. I also worked by myself for basically the entire time, which was nice. All in all, it was a pretty easy job. It was maybe midnight and things were really quiet when I saw a car pulling into the gas station. The road the gas station was on was also very quiet and wouldn't get many cars in the overnight hours. The car drove past all of our gas pumps and appeared to park on the side of the building which was not visible to me. About a minute later, I saw the man walking up and enter the store. From what I saw, he was tall, wore dark clothing, and had his jacket hood up, so I couldn't really make out his face. He seemed to be looking in my direction and then immediately walked to the back end of the store where I couldn't really see him. I figured he was going to use the bathroom or whatever. Yeah, it could be. A short time later, he emerged in one of the closer aisles to me and then went out of sight again. Over time, the man just seemed to be walking around the store slowly, but he didn't have anything in his hands and didn't really seem to be looking at anything. What the? Now, I wasn't just watching him the whole time, but he was the only person in the store and it was hard. That's a little odd. What is he doing? Hard not to notice. He was sort of lingering around the store and before long, he was starting to look suspicious to me. I had seen many different types of people come in the store at all hours, but this yeah. guy, I just didn't have a good feeling about. The longer he was in the store, the weirder it was seeming. He kept sort of looking over at me here and there. I was kind of getting a little bit nervous. Then, thankfully, I saw another car pull up into the gas station. It made me feel just a little bit better. After the person outside got fuel, they came inside to enter the store. I helped them at the counter for a minute or two. It was another guy, and when he left, I forgot all about the other guy, and it wasn't until a couple of minutes later that I realized he must have left. I looked around and walked around the store just a little bit. I was really happy that he was gone because that guy just gave me the creeps. I went back to what I usually did overnight. A little bit of cleaning, but mainly just sitting behind the counter, playing games on my phone and drinking coffee. The store was quiet over the next three hours and nobody came in at all. Just two cars stopped for gas and left. It was about 3 a.m. and I was still behind the counter when I heard a small noise from inside the store. What? I looked out into the aisles that I had a view of. I saw a small movement, then I realized what it was. I could barely see, but that same creepy guy from before was still inside. What the? I was sure that he had left, but he didn't. I guess I never did see him leave, but I just assumed he did. But what was he doing here? It was three hours later, and it appeared he had been hiding in the- Yeah, what is he doing though? ...store. He was crouched down and hiding behind one of the aisles now. I ignored him and just hoped the guy would actually leave soon. Several minutes later, I saw him again. This time, he was closer. It appeared as though he was moving very slowly from aisle to aisle and sort of crawling to avoid making noise and being seen. I should mention that we only had two security cameras, one that showed the front door and another outside, so I couldn't see certain areas of the store no matter what. I'm not sure if the guy knew I realized he was there or not. I just barely saw him moving into the aisle that was the closest one from the counter. I decided to speak up and ask the guy what he was doing. When I did, I instantly regretted my decision. The man suddenly stood up and I could see him over the aisle. He then began to yell 
and pushed over an entire display of chips that we had. What the? It was as if I had set him off into a rampage. The man was throwing things off the shelves and screaming. He then started towards me. What is uh what is he making the mess? What? That's it. That's a little creepy. And up. I wasn't taking any chances, and I ran out from behind the counter and left the store entirely. The man remained inside, continuing to destroy things. I called the police from outside the building and was ready to run to my car if I had to. I did end up going inside my car to wait, and when the police arrived, the man was still inside. I didn't get out of my car until they had the man and it was safe again. There was quite a bit of damage done to the inside of the store, and we were closed for the next day. That experience was enough to make me quit the job a little early than I had planned to, and I certainly didn't miss it. Number two. I used to work the front desk in a hotel. I've always been a night owl, so when I was asked to work the night shift for a while, I didn't mind too much. Yes. It was actually pretty easy. People rarely came to the desk in the late night hours or the wee hours of the morning. I still had tasks to do, but without me having to deal with people, it made it a more simple job. <laughs> yeah. On one quiet night, I remember that it was almost 2 a.m. I was behind the front desk, and I heard somebody walking in from the hallway around the corner near where the breakfast area was. I saw a man approaching the desk. He was tall and thin and wore a black t-shirt and jeans. He had dark brown hair and glasses. When he got to me, I greeted him, and he told me that he had just been locked out of his room. I asked the man if he needed a new key and asked him for his room number, but he interrupted me and said that he had the key, but it wasn't working. He motioned for me to follow him. I got out from the desk and followed the man down the hallway. He led me to a room at the back end of the first floor hallway. He showed me the door and said he thought the key reader wasn't working. I went to the door and began to examine it. I asked him to see the key, when suddenly the door opened right in front of me, and the man behind me shoved me inside. I fell forward what? into the room, and then the door slammed shut behind me. Suddenly, I was on the ground, and it was pitch black in there. I got up and tried opening the door, but it wouldn't move. I think the guy was holding it shut. I went to my pocket for my what phone. But I then remembered that it was still plugged in and charging at the front desk. Why is he holding the door shut? Why? I was stuck in this room with no light, and for some reason they wouldn't let me out. I remained by the door, but now I heard movement coming from the back of the room. There was somebody else in there with me. What the? It seemed as though they were slowly walking closer and closer to me. I had no idea what I was going to do. I asked who they were and why I was in here. Nobody answered me. I was beginning to panic as whoever was in there got within 10 feet of me. I tried the door again, and this time, it actually opened. I burst out the door back into the hallway, but the man was nowhere to be seen there. What the? I ran all the way back to the front desk and found my phone. I grabbed it and dialed 911. After that, I stayed hidden behind the front desk, ready for anything. But the entire time, nobody came back. The police arrived and looked around, but nobody was in the room. What the? I decided to look and see who was in that room. When I did, it showed that nobody had rented that room, and it was vacant. Whoever was in there was long gone now. I have no clue how I was able to get away, why the guy left the door, or who was inside the room with me. So yeah, you was in the room with him. Yeah. Oh. Why? Why? And also, why was he holding the the door shut? That's a little up. So many questions, but I guess they don't need yes, to be answered. So many questions. All I know is that I'm okay. Good. Number three. I'm a security guard. I've worked at a number of different places over the years. One of the most bizarre and puzzling experiences I've ever had in my job took place a few years ago. At the time, I was a security guard for a business. They were very careful in their security, and the entire property was to be private, and you needed a pass to enter. I would sit at the entrance and operate the gate during the overnight hours. I couldn't let anybody in unless they gave me the proper credentials. Yeah. There were people working at all hours, but not nearly as many in the middle of the night, so it was usually pretty quiet for me. On one cold and rainy night, I sat inside my little booth watching the security cameras and ready to operate the gate if anybody came in. At just after 2 a.m., I noticed a car pulling down the drive and making its way over to my gate. 
I sat up in my chair, ready to talk to them. I did not recognize the cars, anybody who worked there, though, and I was not expecting anybody what? else, so I was a little bit confused. The car was black, with really dark tinted windows. When it pulled up to the gate, I opened the window of my booth and leaned out. The car window did not open. I couldn't see inside because of how dark the tint was. I waited, but nothing happened. I reached out and motioned for the driver to roll down their window or to open the door. Whoever was in there didn't do either. I then knocked on the what? window, but there was still nothing. I was a little confused, but then the lights inside my booth started to dim, and what? my screen started bugging out. All of a sudden, the gates opened. I had no clue how this was happening. I radioed in to let the other guys know what was going on. Okay, what is going on? What's going on, though? What the? The team either is breaking out in the gate open or place up. What the? The car then sped inside. What? There were a couple of other security guards on the inside that should be able to see it now. After the car was out of my sight, I went back and looked at the security footage. The time the car went through the gate, though, things went black. Then it came back when the car was already through. What the? About five seconds after this, I heard screeching tires and watched a car coming back towards the gate at full speed. To avoid a collision, I raised the gate and the car sped out. It had to be going at least 70 miles per hour on the way out. After that, I never saw the car again. I have no idea who it was or what they were doing. Maybe they had some device that opened the gate and messed up. Okay, you, you own the car. Why was the car the putting the car pressing the gate? It's a little up. Uh, All the electronics or something. Yeah. Either way, it was pretty creepy. Really creepy. Ten of ten creepy, yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that was wow. That was three true nurse other service by not times books. Then link to the video will be the description. Below, go and check them out. You can probably like if you like. You can comment on below if you want to see more reactions like this one. And subscribe if you are new. And click the post to be notified when I upload. In the, in the month. Bye.